Welcome to Fishing with Steve D, where we teach and inspire you about fishing with lures, bait, red claw fishing. Okay, guys, we've got a bit of a nibble. And we're hoping it's not the dreaded whiskery grunter or caddy. Fighting like a caddy. Come on, let's see a big clash of silver. Oh, fill and drag. Oh, nice bat. See one going halfway down. Yeah, halfway down. There was in that school. Yeah, so I just noticed, folks, that the fish were. Um, halfway down 15 to 20 foot so I wound it up about four or five turns and uh, happy days thank you Lord awesome let's get rid of the net um, and I'll just hold it there for a nice photo yeah I'd reckon he'd be 38 39 you think Ray yeah yeah so uh, yeah always watch the sounder guys always let the sounder tell you what's going on. If the fish are up, I wind your, your live bait up. And um, happy days, we'll catch a fish like this. Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. And today we're just gonna talk about um, how to do your floats. So you have gotta have a six inch float. Um, and uh, you can either use Nico Pen, but what Ray does, he actually gets a soldering iron and he burns the name into the float. And then you can also colour it in with the black Nico pen, which really will stand out. And then you just put your rope. We like to set them about 16 feet um, to 8 feet, depending what the red claw are doing. And then so, so we have about 25 feet of rope or 30 foot of rope. And then on the pot, you just so you have your name on the float, and then you have your name, full name and address on the label on the pot. Get, uh, check some uh, red claw pots today, so we're just going to leave the camera roll and uh, get some footage of that. Talk about how we're doing it. So, um, Mark here's just pulled one up. So, yeah. Isaac. Hopefully this will be money, honey. The one. This one straight in here, right? Feels heavy. Oh yes. Have a look at that, this folks. One of the one with the fish in it. This one of the one with the fish in it. Oh, the one. That's what we want. Full of a red claw. Yep. All baited, no holes. Always a good idea to check for holes in the sides and even underneath. the back of the head there they can't nip you he's trying he's trying to nip you but uh <laughs> There we have it, our morning's effort of red claw. How many do you reckon we got there, Mark? 30, 20? Oh, more than that, 40, 50. 40, 50. So there you go, guys. Gonna be yummy tonight. 
Beautiful. One. That's a whopper, and look at the cores of so much made in there. What is he? 25, 26. Yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. There's a few of them like that in there. This material is very, very, very strong, super strong, super stretchy, as you can see. So if you want to order some of these guys, um, fishing with Steve D at gmail.com. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please smash that subscribe button and, and click that like button if you got a lot out of this video. And uh, please smash that like button so YouTube will show it to more people. Guys, please stay safe. Have a great week. Until next video, God bless. What is he, 25, 26? Yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. There's a few of them like that, isn't there?